Bleem! Miserable! Vengeance! it! Bleem! Forever! Mist English! Asunder! Frapped! Gashi! Morphusite! Thou expungiest hoop isk fripping licious whim grunts a whilst moon grovenly corm zibs garond withoutitude form into formless bloit why not then moose what nonsense am I blathering about? Why, it's Vogon poetry recited by Jeltz, the ship captain of the Vogon constructor fleet. The Vogons have recently demolished the Earth to make way for a hyperspace bypass in this story. You are Arthur Dent. Dent is rescued from Earth's destruction by Ford Prefect, a human-like alien writer for the eccentric electronic travel guide, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. By hitchhiking onto a passing Vogon spacecraft, these two hitchhikers eventually end up being forced to hear the Vogon captain, Jeltz, recite excruciating poetry. This and many more delightful misadventures in tonight's Text Adventure Tuesday. In episode 13 of Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast. So, pour a steaming cup of hot tea, stick a babel fish, in your right ear and listen up the text adventure continues in a few moments video gamers oasis playful podcast Discussions on my favorite games, movies, TV shows, anime, comic books, collectibles, and other fun content for gamers and geeks. I'm your host, Jeremy. Welcome to the show. Hello, welcome back to Video Gamers Oasis, playful podcast, and I'm your host, Jeremy, and we're going to continue on our playing of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Infocom, Interactive Fiction, a science fiction story, copyright 1984 by Infocom Incorporated, all rights reserved, and we're continuing on where we left off. We were in our hero, um, Arthur Dent, was transported into the Vogon ship. So let's continue on in our adventure on the Vogon ship. Let's type in, we're going to be playing for like, uh, I don't know, playing for maximum an hour. We won't be playing beyond that. Let's type in, look. Vogon hold. This is a squalid room filled with grubby mattresses, unwashed cups, and un un unidentifiable bits of smelly alien underwear. A door lies to port, and an airlock lies to starboard. Ford Prefect is here. Along one wall is a tall dispensing machine. In the corner is a glass case with a switch and a keyboard. It looks like the glass case contains an atomic vector plotter. Okay. Speak. 
speak to Ford Prefect. Hmm, Ford Prefect looks at you expectantly as if seemed to, to be about to talk. Um, let's see, what should I do here? Look at glass case. Glass case is closed. Attached to it are a keyboard and a switch. You begin to feel distinctly groggy. Let's see here. What should we do? You feel stronger as the peanuts replace some of the protein you lost in the matter transference beam. Take off gown. Okay, you're no longer wearing the gown. Hang on hook. Hang gown on hook. Ford yawns. Matter transference always tires me out. I'm going to take a nap. He places something on top of his satchel. If you have any questions, here's the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Footnote 14. Ford lowers his voice to a whisper. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but you'll never be able to finish the game without consulting the guide about lots of stuff. As he curls up in the corner and begins snoring, you pick up the hitchhiker's guy. All right then, let's say, um, save the game as we'll, we'll go on hold. We will save it, uh, the date as 24th consult consult book Let's see what else should we do here Gown is now hanging from the hook, covering a tiny hole. Hmm. Look at drain. You see nothing special about the drain. Put towel over drain. That's easy for you to say since you don't even have the towel. Nick, take Ford's satchel. Take satchel. Taken. Open satchel. Can it's not yours, it's Ford's and it's private. Get towel. Taken. Okay, get the towel. Now take the towel. Now 
look at the towel. Put towel over drain. Towel completely covers the drain. Save our game progress. Put satchel in front of panel. Okay, the satchel is lying on its side in front of the tiny robot panel. Put the junk mail on the satchel. Okay, the loose pile of junk mail is now sitting on the satchel. Press button. Which button do you mean? The dispenser button or red button? The red button or the green button? Press dispenser button. A single babel fish shoots out of the slot. It sails across the room and hits the dressing gown. The fish slides down the sleeve of the gown and falls to the floor, landing on the towel. A split second later, a tiny cleaning robot whizzes across the floor, grabs the fish and continues its breakneck pace toward a tiny robot panel at the base of the wall. The robot plows into the satchel, sending the babel fish flying through the air in a graceful arc surrounded by a cloud of junk mail. Another robot flies in and begins madly collecting the cluttered plume of mail. The babble fish continues its flight, landing with a loud squish in your ear. All right, we're going to save this game as Babblefish. All right, saved. Read book. Um, let's look at the Hitchhiker's Guide. Look at book. Look at Ford. He's sleeping. Look at Satchel. The Satchel, which is closed, is fairly bulky. Open Satchel. You can't, it's not yours. It's Ford's and it's private. An announcement is coming over the ship's intercom. This is the captain. My instruments show that we've picked up a couple of hitchhikers. I hate freeloaders. And when my guards find you, I'll have you thrown into space. On second thought, Maybe I'll read you some of my poetry first. Repeating. <laughs>